Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you and explain how to orient model into 3D or in the drawing. We will start from scratch and I will create new 3D model, for example the name will be Q1 and you can see that system will create for me the default planes based on the template. Right now it's not possible to see the name and you can see in the view tab that is possible to show plain tags. If you will switch on, you can see it. Or you can define your configuration option and it will be always visible. If I will spin the model with Ctrl D, it's a default orientation. The system will orient the model as default. What does it mean? If you will right now create, for example, first extrude feature and I will select the front plane as the sketch plane and over here I will create the letter F. Yes, yeah, so I will create letter F and it will be really easy to understand how it looks like. And you know that it's possible to make the extrude feature in the positive side of the selected plane or the negative side. Yes, yeah, so it's up to you. But for now we can leave the default and some value. And what does it mean? If I will spin the model with the middle button and then if I will send, select the Ctrl D as the default orientation, the system will orient the model as I need and we can visualize the coordinate system and you can see that the Z axis is going directly in front of, of the front plane. And how it looks like if you will select orientation. So if I will right now select the front the F will be directly visible as the front. And if you would like to select the, for example, from left side, yeah? So over here I will select left. It means that it will go from left side to over here. So simply to select the A left, and now it's possible only see this plane. So it's the same as I select this plane and use the view normal, yeah? Again, I will use the default, so Ctrl D. And if you would like to check the data, for example, from bottom, so from bottom, it's the same like you select this plane and use the normal, yes? Yeah? So I will select the bottom plane and this one is the orientation as the bottom. So if I will select right now the bottom, I do not have in my template the bottom orientation, you can see, so it's not a problem. You can create your custom orientation, yeah, because it's not here. Yeah, I forgot. No problem. You can specify your orient your custom orientation, so you can create new, set bottom, come from OK, and in right mouse button you can use the edit definition. In the front will be this plane, and on the top will be this plane. Yeah, it's as we need. And right now, if I will select default orientation and bottom orientation, fine. And right now, again, it's here in this drop down menu. The bottom is here. Fine. I will select again the Ctrl D. Right now, I will delete feature extrude one. Okay, maybe I can only suppress. It will be maybe better. And we can play it in the drawing again. And you need to orient the model differently. So for example, your standard orientation of the model will be from top. So what does it mean? In the first extrude feature, for example, I will select top. And over here, I will write the T as the text, yeah? It means top and come from OK. And right now you see that it's not centralized. Because in the sketch, if I will select edit, the text was placed here, but was not centralized. It's not a problem. It's possible to do it here because you can, if I will check like here, you can center in the horizontal or in vertical. It's up to you. Yeah. So you can centralize as you need and then everything will be as you planned. And what does it mean that if I will finish this feature, and if I will select Ctrl D again, it will be that the extrude feature going from top upstairs. Yeah, sorry. I think that upstairs is a good name for it. 
So it's going up and if you will right now the select the front it will be same as you because you are looking on the front plane so we is it, it is it as you will normally looking here so this will be front so i will select control d and i will select front okay it looks like as we need and if i will check from the bottom it will be going from this side yeah so again it's possible if i will visualize right now the first feature what was created the f yeah and i will select the bottom you see that everything is going as we need okay great so for now we have created orientation for the t from the top because it was created on the top plane and if i will or um, visualize again the coordinate system again in default orientation x y is going as it is and z is going into me and if you would like to continue and you would like and you need to specify the different orientation again for example your default orientation will be looks like from the right so we will select extrude feature i will select right and over here I will mention R yeah as a right orientation and if I will confirm confirm and if I will control D as the default orientation it will going like this what does it mean right now you can see that I have created the orientation for the extrude 3 on the right so what does it mean if I will check from the right it will be go good but orientation in the sketch it, it was not specified correctly what does it mean your question is if it is possible to repair yes of course because you would like to have this r not that it will be oriented like this but it will be different so it's not problem you can jump in the sketch at the definition and over here you can use again control d yeah as the default orientation and what you need to specify is that sketch plane will be right but orientation of the sketch plane as you can see here right now that plane is right but orientation is top definite as the left but no i don't want to specify top at the left but i'd like to specify this right we will orient to left and if i will come from sketch then we can create the R text one more time. Yeah, I will select R, OK. And if I will select Ctrl D right now, orientation is right. So if I will come from OK, and right now it's default orientation, and if I will check the orientation from the right, it will be good because right is from right side. Yeah, it's going from this side yeah so if you will have a look here right it's going here it's the same as orientation of the normal on this selected surface because it's going from the right as this icon okay great and some practical example because it was explained only by letters so for example, we would like to create a shaft and your shaft will be parallel with the z-axis. So you can select the revolve feature. You can specify the sketch plane. Yeah, it will be parallel with the z. So I have to select this sketch plane. And if you will select control D, you can check how it looks like. Yeah, so you can spin the model how you need. And then you will create a center line. You will create the shaft as you need yeah if you want you can spin the model right now and finalize specify dimension if you would like to spin the orientation in the sketch you know that it's really easy to select the reference select section orientation and for example said that this one will be horizontal yeah and again it's possible to select section orientation 
and you can select flip section orientation. So it's really, really easy and possible to orient how you need. And if you will confirm and confirm, and right now if I will select the control D, the system will orient my model as we need. And in the drawing, I will not use the front plane, but right plane. What does it mean? If we will create new drawing, we will specify the same name. OK. And we will specify some size of the template and general view will be here. So you know that if I will select the front plane, it will be go from and I will see only the circles, but I don't want to see the circles. I would like to see the left side orientation from the left. Yes. Yeah, so if I will select the general view over here and you would like to orient your custom orientation. Yeah, because the model you would like to orient as default. So maybe we can specify the custom scale for this view 0.3, for example, on something really small one, but orientation you can specify really quickly over here that, for example, in the drawing, you would like to orient model like this and you will create new orient name will be 3D, for example. And then if you will go back, you can specify 3D orientation and visibility like this, for example. OK, if you would like to know more how to create views in the drawing or how to manipulate the object in the drawing, please check my YouTube tutorials. And I hope so that you like this example, how to orient model and how to define the features or first feature for the correct orientation. Thank you. Like the video or donate by coffee. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.